everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art. Welcome to Learn at the Little House and today is a shop update and I am coming to you from Brian's area. So uh, forgive me if I am a little slow today. Uh, I put the ruler in here so I, I can stay on frame. All right, also it doesn't hurt to see the ruler. This is, by the way, a 24 inch ruler, just FYI. So you get a good visual of size. Um, but today I'm showing you, the first thing I'm showing you is an ephemera pack that we just made a bunch of these. Uh, well, actually we made three of these and we want to see if you guys like them. So it's a nature theme and nature meaning it could be birds, flowers, um, stories about birds or flowers or animals, could be dogs, cats, it could be owls, uh, bears, whatever. So to start off with, I have from eight different vintage books. I have five pages of each from each book. And I did throw in a little dictionary paper because who doesn't love dictionary paper? So <laughs> that's outside the theme basically, but it's dictionary paper, it's awesome. So that's in the kit. Um, let me show you what else is in the kit because that's not all. So there's at least 50 pieces of paper in e 50 plus it's much more than 50 pieces of paper in each kit this is a 1973 lithograph and although each kit is going to get one of these they're slightly different uh, i have a bunch of them and each one will be slightly different in the kit so and that's that's pretty big that is about uh 12 inches that's 12 inches probably by about eight or nine Okay, uh, this is a really interesting vintage cardboard thing. Normally they had advertising on the back, but I don't know why they didn't put advertising on here and it's just plain, but I thought it's really pretty cool. And you can see the size of this. It is about nine inches, okay? And it's about oh six inches wide. And I'm approximating because I'm trying to stand behind the camera and the ruler's there, so it's a reach. These are vintage stickers, and they do have glue on the back of them. They're they're like a vinyl uh, sticker, and I would add glue to the back of that when you're gluing that down. Um, anyway, so you're gonna get five postcards. The postcards are going to be uh, blank in the back, more than likely, and they are either animals or flowers or a com combination thereof, but it's some kind of nature thing. Um, this is really cool. We just acquired these and uh, they're old labels from canned goods. So you'll get one of those. And you can definitely um, copy some of this stuff too and use it over and over. This um, is an old book and I it didn't have any dates and you can see it was really, sorry, it was really beat up. So I took it apart and each kit will get one picture of it looks like it was Sue Lin the panda okay so you get one of those I absolutely love this one all right everybody's not getting the same page obviously but this came from this beautiful nature's hallelujah book and this happens to be the first page but um yeah I did gut the book <laughs> and so each package will have one of these. Now this, before I put this in the pile, the paper is really thick and it has like a gold edge along the edges, duh. Anyway, Jer, um, this is also in the pack, one of those. You will receive one of these agricultural almanacs. So you'll get the whole entire almanac. And this is to me the best part of this pack you will get a book cover okay so this book has been gutted and actually some of the pages from this book will be in each pack but it's a really nice book cover it's quite beautiful and so each kit is going to have a different book cover obviously hold on so this is another book cover and it is the Woman's Day Book of Annuals and Perennials. And you can see uh, it's the whole thing, front and back. And this is an, the almanac that will go with this book cover. 
the third one and final one, because I only made three of these, is this almanac and this book cover. Okay, so these will be three separate kits in the Etsy shop and under nature's themes, ephemera packs. The next item is a really pretty old tin and you can see it's got this little knob on there for a handle. That's the inside part, sorry for the glare. And it is full of buttons, vintage buttons. And they're all beige. And it's a pound and a half of buttons here. I'm not gonna dump the whole thing. Pound and a half of buttons. And the lid does go on nice and tight and stays on tight, see? And it says a pound and a half. And it says it's made in England, the tin. So that's a little different to put in the shop. I wanted to show you an approximate size of the buttons that are in this tin, and they range from a little over an inch to a little under an inch, and there's a dime for you to see, um, you know, get an idea of the size. So I had uh, this in the shop uh, before, and it, it sold out. It is um, piano paper, piano roll paper, and Brian just found some more. So... Um, this says 1934, and it says tumbling tumbleweeds. I am not going to open the rolls to measure how much paper is on there, but that came that popped off pretty easy. You can see how much paper is on this one. It has a different amount of paper based on the song, I guess. And so some of them have nice boxes, and some of them don't. So this one happens to have a nice box. And uh, you know, I should really open that and let you see. It's got these holes and stuff. I love to um, echo dye this paper. And I also enjoy um, just doing jelly printing on it and using it in my art journals. So, um, Look for a couple of these in the shop. This is a photograph album, and it is full of cards from 1953. Um, presented to Bruce uh, Sockhart, looks like is the name, by his grandmother. And I could take it apart and sell the pages individually, but I don't. I don't want to at this point. So I will try to, um, not sure what happened to that card. Um, I will try to sell the book intact and if I don't sell it, then I'll take the pages apart. But let's, let's look through the whole thing so you can really see each page. So it's all uh, different kinds of greeting cards. And they would be awesome in a junk journal. Hold on, totally in frame here. And it looks like, actually, it looks like it's the front of the card, not the whole card. Interesting. So you could actually, you could cut this apart. That's what I would do. Yeah, it's the front of the card. I'm glad I saw that. I would I would cut it out. And I think there's a way to get these off this paper. You could Google that if you wanted to. But I I would just leave it right on the card, right on the uh, black stock. That's what I would do personally. So every once in a while there's a whole card. Okay. Let's get through the whole thing. What an interesting way to save a card is just save the front. So like I said, they didn't do that in every single instance. This one's from 1944, so it does go back further than 1953. And this is right onto the back cover. All right, and there's the back. And it's... Um, laced together. 
This item you may have seen before. I used to sell them as uh, separate pieces. Well, we decided to put several different sizes and shapes together and sell them as a kit. And so uh, they're metal and I really don't know what they are, but I was purchasing them from this gentleman at the flea market and they just looked really interesting. And this is what I was using them for to, um, you know, display, focus on something in particular. So I was putting something special on the inside of this. Now this one's pretty big. It is seven and a half inches, okay? And just to give you an idea of the size of these, and this one is three inches, and this one is two and a half by three, and these are these are pretty small. So these are this is one and three quarters, and this one you can see is even smaller yet. And just to give you um, another, well, that's not good. That's not a good one. Just to give you another idea of how you could, you know, use that. Um, I think they're really cool. And these you could use in some kind of assemblage art or you could, I mean, they look like flowers to me. You could put this, um, you could put this on a journal cover and create a flower out of it. And that would be serious good fun. And I have two different sets. So let me show you the other set. All right, this is the second set. And this one measures four and three quarters that way. And you can see it's not really square by five and a quarter, just to give you an idea of the sizes. This one is about five and a half. And then these are pretty tiny, uh, an inch and a quarter. So none of these are the same as the other set. Let me show you this one too four inches. None of these are the same as the other set. Um, the other set had the bigger one. So let's just audition how cute that looks, right? When you put a picture in there, you could put anything in there. It would be awesome. And I did, I actually made a book and if you visit, uh, Let's see if you visit. If you look on my YouTube channel, it, the, the video was called The Useful Knowledge. I'll put a link in the description below and you can see how I used one of these on that book and put a photograph in it. It really looked pretty cool. All right, I have some child craft books and I have two of those. One is arts and music, art and music. And it is from, I believe, 1940, 42, 1942. So this one's arts and music. And let me show you some of the pages here. And the book is really a nice, interesting size. It's 14 inches this way by 10 inches this way. And it's got some actual music in the back. And very interesting. It gets to a certain point and now it's just information about musical instruments and some really uh, beautiful old diagrams. How to make a drum. <laughs> oh, singing for bottles, it says. <laughs> That's interesting. It's a really cool book. There's some weaving in here. So different kinds of art projects. And uh, the paper is in nice condition and it's a beautiful color paper. And there's even some color in the middle of the book. Here's the tables of, uh, table of contents. Anyway, really cool. I love child craft books. They're very interesting. And of course, this is a gorgeous orange cover and the back is in pretty good right. shape. Uh, this one is uh, science and industry. And this one is also from 1942. Let me flip through and show you. 
Oh, and they've got well over 100 pages. Oh, this one is an old telegraph, so it's different inventions, it looks like. That was glass um, etching. And uh, that's interesting, the ship. Welding. Uh, this is something to do with a tree. So industry and science. So how things work, how things were made. These would make really interesting, um, uh, what do you call that, reverse collage. Oh, that's cool. Snowflakes, frost patterns, snow crystals. Do So this must be the science part of it. Very cool book. Oops, I don't like snakes. So we'll turn that page. <laughs> Elk, chickens. Cool, right? Okay, and another uh, color page in the center of the book. So I have two of those. I was fascinated when I saw this because it's an old children's book and it's in the shape of a train. And uh, the cover is not attached, but it is very thick cardboard, very sturdy cardboard. And I could not find a year um, on it, but I did a little research and it seems that it is from around the 1945-ish time frame. And the, the thing that holds the book together is actually metal. It's a metal spine. And um, the pages are a nice a nice weight. And I don't know, I just thought it was really interesting. I could not tell you if all the pages are here, unfortunately, because as you can see, there's no numbers on the pages. So I'm just gonna flip through, try to stay in frame. I'm actually holding my phone to do this, but I wanted to flip through and show you the pages. Okay, so there's, what do we do? Two pages so far, and then there's a couple pages here in the back that are not attached. So let me, let me try to show this to you. Okay, so this page is a little bent. And you see this is a folio. Okay, and the same thing with this one. It's another folio. And I just was really attracted to it. Oh, this is a cardboard, the back. The last page is cardboard. And again, it's this really thick uh, cardstock. And then this is the back of the book. So that's kind of interesting that the last page is this heavy duty, you can see how thick it is, cardboard. And then there's that metal spine again. I, I just thought it was a really interesting book and I thought it would make a really interesting altered book that somebody could play with because it was in the shape of a train. Yeah, so look for that in the Etsy shop. Well, I guess that's about it for today. I did want to uh, mention that I did restock the uh, metal charms and um, I no longer have any of the vintage charms that were in the original packages. So now it is all Tierra cast charms. And uh, see the pictures because you will get the actual um, bag of charms for the picture that you pick. And if you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to email me. And I hope everyone has a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.